First up from Terrence Menace. Who can you see the Dolphins trading slash signing in the offseason? Um, I mean, trading away, I think they're going to mostly stand pat. Uh, signing, I would love Teron Armstead. Go invest in an admittedly injury-prone but actually good offensive tackle. you got to get help on that offensive line. I'd focus there and center. You know, does, does Brian Allen make sense for your organization? Uh, does Ryan Jensen fit what you want to do? We'll see what Mike McDaniel wants to run truly style-wise with various players. Running back would be nice. There are going to be decent free agents and maybe a draft of running back finally early in this year's class. Let's go to Cool Dolphin. Thoughts on this trade guy? Dolphins get Saquon and the Giants get Miami's second round pick, number 50 overall. So, uh, Jack... If you can make up that graphic for me real quick. Wow, that was really quick. Um, please, thank you. So the Dolphins, they get Saquon Barkley. The Giants receive a 2022 second round pick, so 50th overall. Before I give you guys my answer on this, who wins this trade? Type MIA for the Dolphins or NYG for the New York Giants. I like Saquon Barkley a lot. Remember, if you go ahead and make this deal, the Dolphins will have to pay Barkley $7.2 million. But if they're looking for a running back in the new Mike McDaniel scheme, I don't know if I mind it all that much. Personally, I think both sides win. If this deal were to go down, I think both teams could end up winning it. The Dolphins, they finally get a running back. The Giants, they can at least get some draft capital back. If you're a Giants fan, like, I want a first-round pick for Saquon Barkley. Sorry. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. Now, I don't want you guys to miss anything going on here around the NFL. Free agency draft. We got you covered here at Chat Sports. We don't take any days off. So if, to make sure that you can get multiple videos 100% free, click the subscribe button. Help us get to 280,000 and turn on those notifications. Greyhawk47, who will draft Tyler Linderbaum? Great question. Great question. Um, I don't know. If I were in charge, I would take Linderbaum top 10 if I had a center need. Now, that is a lower position of value, but I argue undervalued position as well. At Iowa, against all them Big Ten you know, hog mollies up front, he was awesome. Yeah, he might have some power issues, but I think he's a fantastic prospect. I mean, he, look, he's not the Quentin Nelson of, of, of centers, but he ain't that far behind either. His range is top 10 to late round one. If the Giants want to take him, I think it'd be a home run selection. The Ravens could take him. Dallas, Tennessee, Miami, Cincinnati, all teams that could use offensive line help. Miami gets him at 29, best pick in the draft. Book it. I don't think he falls. I think in the end, 14 to 24 should, should be his range, but uh, it's the draft. I think weird stuff's going to happen this year. So what do you guys think? Who will draft Tyler Linderbaum? Let me know in the comments section. From Can't Stop Us, where will Laramie Tunsil be traded to? Good question. Um, I, Tunsil seems like he's done in Houston. There was the thumb injury that I don't think should have taken him the entire year to, uh, to get recovered from. Seems like a lot of the good Texans players kind of followed the, uh, the, the path of Deshaun Watson and said, eh, I'm done here. Let's, let, let's, get, let's get out of here. So six teams I like uh, for Tunsil. The Seattle Seahawks, draft capital gets dicey. Carolina, they have no QB, but if you were to offer the sixth overall pick, would help you feel better about the offensive line in a big way. The Giants, if you want to move one of your first two, uh, five or seven overall, that probably gets it done, or at least close to it. The Steelers, if you want to move Dan Moore to right tackle or something, the Bengals should be all in on somebody like Laramie Tunsil. Go be aggressive there. And if you want to get really wild with it, why don't you bring back Tunsil if you're Miami? You still have not replaced him properly. You win the trade by getting all those picks, and you give up less than what you gave up to get him in the end because he's not going to fetch the same demand he got last time around. So what do you think? Make your predictions. And Houston, I suppose, is still valid in the end. But where will Laramie Tunsil play in 2022? Get those predictions in for me at the pinned comment on today's video. Let's go to Shadow. Which team do you expect to splurge the most? 
Wow, if you take a few letters out of that, you can get really interesting with the word splurge. I'll say you look for the Miami Dolphins to be a team with the new head coach, Mike McDaniel, the most money in salary cap. I'll say a team like the Jacksonville Jaguars, they got to try to build around Trevor Lawrence. Again, a lot of money. And then teams that need a quarterback. I think the Broncos are going to be really aggressive this year. I could see the Raiders trying to be really aggressive this year. The Chicago Bears wouldn't surprise me either. It's going to come down to money, overall needs, overall wants. But the top two teams, I'm going to say is the Dolphins, and I'm going to say is the Jags. Let's go to Cash Black. What team has the worst future? So you're saying, like, we'll talk about just this year from a salary cap, draft standpoint, and overall team construction. I mean, the Texans are the biggest dumpster fire in the NFL. However... If you were to tell me a team that maybe had a winning record that could be pretty damn bad for the next few years, I'll say the New Orleans Saints for the simple fact that they don't have a quarterback. Your running back right now is in some legal trouble. Michael Thomas can't stay healthy. You're minus 76 in cap, and yeah, you're, you just got a new head coach. So for that reason, I'll go ahead and say New Orleans. Now, if you guys need a brand new sweatshirt, listen the heck up. Go to chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. Whether you're a Vikings fan, a Seahawks fan, we got hoodies for all 32 teams and all different sizes. It's February. It's cold out in most of the United States. It's cold most of the world, unless you're like in Australia, right? Because it's flipped. Either way is this. If you need a new hoodie, maybe your girlfriend, your mother, significant other, whoever, didn't get you something for Valentine's Day, go get yourself something nice. If you want to get me a hoodie, it's my birthday yesterday. It's chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. That's the link in the comments and in the description of today's video. If you guys want the best NFL coverage on YouTube, hit that big red button and subscribe for more free videos. That includes mailbags to news, rumors, and everything else going on around the NFL. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe right now. Super chat from Ozzy Osman. I wish the new league year began the first day of the combine. That way I won't have to wait so damn long to see big moves from teams. The NFL doesn't do that because they want to use the combine as the backdoor secret networking stuff. They don't want to, you know, invest uh, and, and have too much going on at once. They, they want to maximize the combine as a TV event. Eric Burton over, under, 2.5 QBs in the first round. You guys type in over, over, you for under right now. Um, I'm going to go over. I think three is my guess. That might change. See what free agency, draft and free agency trade stuff happens, but I'm going to go three in round one. Luis Rodriguez. Chins the XFL becomes a league. The NFL as a, as a minor league. Um, as an official minor league, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, they are going to work together, have some collaboration. I think is good for the XFL. What you might see in the end is this. The XFL becomes a, a, a default minor league, kind of like how college football is to an extent, but different styles, of course, in the sense that the good XFL players are going to go to the NFL, whether it is a, an official minor league or not. Another Super Chats coming in from Kyle. Random question, but do you think Newton gets signed? I, I'm, I'm just going to say yes because he's a big-name quarterback. I thought he proved enough last season to be able to come in and stints and be good. I would be shocked if any team gave him a logistic sh chance to start every single game this upcoming year. But it wouldn't surprise me if a team's like, all right, we need a quarterback, short yarded situations. Go ahead and get Cam Newton. Let's go to the Ronin 99. Let me know what year you were born. Pick four teams who make a splash in the draft. Well, when I think of splash in the draft, I think either that could be either good or bad or a team that makes a trade. So we'll say the Carolina Panthers at number six could be an interesting team to take a quarterback early or maybe even trade up for one. I'll say Washington could be a team that, again, makes a move. The Pittsburgh Steelers. And then here's this team, the Philadelphia Eagles. They have three first rounders, 15, 16, and 19. What if there's a guy that they absolutely love? Go ahead, trade up, and go out and get them. The Dolphins also at pick number 29. They have two first-round picks uh, next year's draft. What if they give up some of those first-rounders to move up to, to assure themselves that they can get one of the better offensive linemen? This is a really weird question, but Jack, producer, he wants to know, where are you at right now? Like, literally right now. Are you sitting down on your toilet? Oh, he's like, oh, shit. 
That's where I'm at. Or are you like driving down the road? Are you, I don't know, at your parents' house? Or are you just chilling on your girlfriend's couch or your ex-girlfriend's couch? I'm not going to judge. I want to know down in the comments section. This is a weird question, but I like getting weird once in a while. Where are you literally right now?